Hi guys, how are you? Happy Monday to you. Pattern Dash Collections is where you want to go to find all the all the patterns, thousands and thousands of patterns. And if you want to help keep this website going and have a little extra cash, um, if you would hit that PayPal button and donate to uh, Pattern Dash Collections, it just it's not my money. I have nothing to do with it. It goes to Ina, who is the uh, creator of this website and who um, pays for the whole web hosting and and thing out of her pocket. And in order to help defray some of those costs, she's set up a donation button. Um, and she asks that if, you know, you have an extra dollar or two, if you would donate to her, she would appreciate it. If you don't have the money, that's cool. You know, it's tough times. Everybody's losing jobs. People are going crazy. And so, um, and the world and the economy is, is, is tanking. So if you don't have it, that's fine. No pressure. But I just want to make sure I mention it on Mondays that you can go ahead and hit that PayPal button and then that has an option to pay by PayPal or through uh, your credit card. So I'm going to go to pattern focus to find today's pattern. And we're going to scroll down to where I left off last. And today we're going to do one that's uh, just a technique. It's not a pattern. It's just the CPT technique called weaving. And um, if you want to make an additional challenge and uh, draw spaghetti, you can do that. Make it yourself a plate of spaghetti. Um, I don't know if that's where I want to go with that today, but here is the, it's not really a step out. It just shows you how to do this technique. So first off you would do like parallel lines. Okay. Simple, easy. And then the next thing you would do is see where it's got the dots there you wouldn't actually draw that but you would draw the next set of lines going here and then as if they were going under this one and come out this side go into in here come out this way and then again under under so you just go under the one that's on there previously and you just keep building and building and building and shading and and this is also how you would do like Celtic knots. You would make yourself the knot pattern in um, pencil and then we'd start building the shape in pen. You could draw the whole shape in pencil and then figure out where you want your overs and unders and then just draw the rest in pen. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I could either make a shape or I could do random spaghetti like strings. I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet. So while I turn on my light and get my stuff ready, I'm going to have to make some sort of decision, aren't I? Um, First thing I'm going to do is make myself a border. And I got myself a really big six by six. To me, that's really big piece of, of paper so that I have a lot of surface to work on. Okay. So I'm going to make myself a little border. The question is, do I want to make a shape? with unders and overs or do I want to just do spaghetti like random I I am thinking I want to plan a few things out I am thinking that maybe I want to do big almost like a bridge like that and then have some unders and overs going 
under this. I'm gonna do. I've just, I've, I've got a, I've got a thought here. I am going to close my eyes and make a scribble in the middle of my page, and then I'm going to make parallel lines with that scribble, which is going to make a shape, but it's not going to make like a Celtic knot shape but it'll be some sort of random shape and um i'm just going to feel for the edge of my paper i'm going to try not to get too close to the edges so you know i'm going to put my this but i won't be able to see what it is but i i will pretty much know if i keep my finger here i will stay close and far enough from the edge and then We'll do our overs and unders, kind of like you would do for a, Celt a Celtic knot, but it won't be an actual knot pattern. It will just be random. Okay, so I'm going to start here and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm just going to kind of go all over this page like that. Okay. I think I want this one to come a little bit further out, but maybe I'll do that with my ribbon. I got a little exuberant over here, but that's okay. Maybe I will just do my border, my frame in a little bit and let some of this stick out because I do like when that happens as well. And I think I want to connect this to something. So let me put one over here like that. Okay. We'll just add a little line. So what I'm going to do, you can see my scribble, is I'm going to just double the line wherever my scribble is and wherever it goes. I'm just going to double the line. Kind of confusing. Not gonna lie, it's kind of confusing. And that went way outside. It's all right, it's all right, it's fine, it's fine. Don't get uncomfortable, Don. Does everything have a double line? Everything has a double line. I'm going to bring this out and bring it back in so that I have an end. And then I'm going to decide where I want things over, what I want over and what I want under. Right? Okay, so that one is going over. So this is going under here.
right? I don't like that that, I don't like the way that worked. I don't like that those two ended up in the same spot. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna turn it over. Right idea, wrong execution. Smaller frame. Not gonna close my eyes this time. Right idea, wrong execution. So let me let me do zoom you back out so you can see what I'm doing. I didn't like the way those two kind of came together. It was a little awkward. So I'm gonna start like here, come out and around, and make sure I cross over. And I come back. Okay, so now I've kind of started and stopped in the same place. And I haven't made any of them. I've made them all have a um, crossover that makes some sense. That's better. A little less random. It was a good idea. But I needed to do it this way instead. And then I want to make sure I'm on the inside of this line so I don't get too close to that edge, right? Okay. So let's double this. It's fine. Oh, I've done it again. I've gotten too close right here. Okay. Okay, now those don't overlap. They're just next to one another. And then we decide what is over and what is under. And I think we're gonna incorporate our frame in that over under. decide whether they go over the frame or under the frame. So my frame is also going to be doubled. If this makes absolutely no sense to you, I understand. Because I'm not doing this the way I normally would do it. I'm doing something completely different. So I'm going to decide that I want that one go over. So then I'm just going to come around and I'm going to erase my overs and unders. So then this one, I think if it goes over here, it's going to go under there. That's fine. And then it's going to go over here. going to come on top and then my frame I'm actually going to erase part of my frame there okay and that one's going to go that way and this one went which way did it go it went under the frame 
See, I didn't do that over here. I needed to do that, so I was paying attention. Okay. And then this one is going to go that way. And then this way. And then this is going to go, this one's going to go on top of here. So you're not going to see that. This is going to make no sense to you until I start to draw. And then it's going to go under there. And then it's going to go over and then under. And then do I want it to go over? No, I want it to go under here. And then it's going to go over the frame there. Okay. And then it's under, 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 over, under. And then this is going to go over the frame. Over the frame here, and then under the frame, under and over. Let's go under and over, or over and under. Or just under. Let's do it just under. Okay. Like that. Okay. I think I figured out what I want to do. This is completely out of the norm so if you don't understand what I just did I don't blame you oops that needs to go like that first thing I think I'm going to draw is the frame I think so. And that's what I decided. Okay.
there's my frame leaving my openings for the things that overlap and then to draw my pieces I'm gonna go under there under there and it comes up and around here and then it goes on top of that one and then it goes over there and under here and then it goes under there I did this totally the hardest way I could possibly do it far so good I think let's do this one start here well that was kind of a straight well, that one's got quite the bend to it. Should have had a little bit more of a curve. But that's okay. We will live with that. coming together guys it is coming together it just was the long roundabout way to get there like that it is now all connected or interconnected or tied up in knots. Now I can erase all those guidelines. I want to color my frame. I'm just going to use one of my markers. Something similar in color. Just to be a little bit darker. I don't know that's going to do it. Let's try. Oops. And not... I'm not caring for these markers. I've already thrown one away because it was moldy 
It's called STA Aqua Natural Natural Brush. They were really cheap, like super cheap. I got, I don't know how many. One, two, three, four. I think 36 markers for like five bucks or something. They were super duper cheap. And there was a reason for that. So they're not my favorite. But since I have them, I'm going to use them. But I would not, my personal self, recommend them. But the one nice thing about them is since they're water based, they do not bleed through the back side of the paper. Um, when I use my uh, alcohol based markers, which I don't have very many of, but when I do use them, uh, because they're alcohol based, they, they just suck right through this paper. And um, so if you want markers that don't bleed through, Definitely will recommend that you get a water-based marker and not an alcohol-based marker. But that being said, and I thought I would really like these brush tips and for the most part, they work okay. I just, I'm finding I don't, <clears throat> the colors on the lid or on, on here don't match the color that comes out of the tip. Um, I have less control than I thought I would with these brush. These brushes are kind of soft and mushy. And so you get a really big line variance, but you don't, you lose a lot of control when you, when that happens. And the few brushes that I've used a lot of are starting to fray. So they're not holding up well. <clears throat> But if you want a super cheap set for like uh, a, a kid who's just going to probably ruin them anyway, this would be fine. I mean, they work okay. But as a, like a professional art supply, I wouldn't purchase them again. But they're okay. I mean, I don't want to be completely negative about them. They, they do work. They just, they're not my favorite. I haven't found any favorites yet though, so I can't really say what would be my favorite. Now I'm going to just do some shading. And I think I'm gonna shade with color pencil in the yellow tones. So I'm going to get out my kind of a peachy orangey yellow. Uh, it's kind of a beige color, but I want kind of a brown, but not a deep brown. I'm going to get this one and I'm going to get the white. And the bright kind of orangey yellow. I'm going to try those tones together. See what happens. Sharpen a couple pencils here. And this one looks like it needs a little sharpening. Those two are probably okay. So I'm going to start with the darker brown and put it right where the colors are going to definitely like things are overlapping.
So this is where this uh, drawing is going to end up being long because I'm coloring it again. Anytime I color, I end up with a longer video. Well, that's okay. You guys have nothing else to do but watch videos anyways, right? You're all stuck inside. So, might as well watch my video. Might as well be a long one. Or you can just fast forward. You guys know how to use the little gear icon in the... I think it's... If you're watching on the computer, it's over here in this corner. If you click that little gear... Um, you can actually change the speed at which you watch me and you can make me go faster if you want. Of course I'll sound like Alvin the Chipmunk but that's okay. Or you can just drag the drag the little fast forward thing and drag me further down if you don't want to watch me color. That will also work. Works on everybody's videos, you know. I do it a lot. Sometimes I'll just skip bits and pieces. I'll see the thing that's relevant to me and I'll skip the rest. I think I'm going to do a little bit of that brown here on the frame as well. Where that overlaps. I think that will look nice. Yes, it will be just right. Okay. It is getting really dark out here. I'm going to have to stop drawing because I think the skies are going <clears> to <throat> open up any second. It's getting darker and darker in here. I'm having a hard time seeing even though I have this lovely bright light on and I have all my overhead lights on. It's just getting so dark out here. It feels very gloomy. Okay, and here. Like that, and under here going this way. Under here going this way. And then under this one. And under this one. Tomorrow I get to sew. Today was drawing day. Tomorrow is sewing day. I really want to try to finish the rest of this week's drawings today though. I need to sew some more face masks. I, I've i made a few of those. Um, not the ones that go straight across. The easy ones. But the ones that, that come... The ones that have, there's like a line down the middle and they kind of come this way. Like that. And then they have the loops here and here. But they, they have a, they're like that. And your nose, your eyes are here. Your nose and your mouth are in there. Um, but they're not the kind that goes like straight across with the little loops, the easy ones. It's the harder ones. Anyway, I've been making those for myself, my coworkers, um, some friends, my sister, my mom, stepdad. Because they are much more comfortable than any of the others that I've been tried. And then you can, they have a pocket in them and you can slip the regular filter mask inside there. So you can still use the ma the regular filter mask. It's just, um,
I'm going to blend that out a little bit so it's not quite so just brown and make it seem like it's a more orange or yellowy color cord going through my page. Apparently I'm in a yellow orange phase here today. where I'm going with this right you guys see it coming okay so there's that layer put that pencil back I always put everything back after I'm done so I don't lose anything so then a lighter orange more bright coming from there I'm just going to do just a light bit right by here. Not, not hardly any there at all. Can you guys tell it's getting so dark? I can hardly see. looking good okay and then I can pop some highlights with the white so coming around this corner a little bit there anywhere where it's like on top a little bit of white there for sure Put some white in this. It's kind of shimmery on top. Just like that. There we go. Don't know which direction it's living. Which direction is it living? Kind of looks, I like it that way. Okay. There we are. That is the CPT weaving technique. Let me sign. we go cpt T technique is weaving it's going under and over over and under that looks nothing like any of the drawings I usually do and that's okay I like doing something different it keeps me stimulated let's shake things up a bit right all right so the next one is going to be no tangle and after that we're going to do la floor and then I'm going to be done because it is really, really dark, really dark, and I'm afraid it's going to just start pouring and I really don't want to get caught in the rain going from my studio to the house in my slippers and my slipper socks. And yeah, I'm, I'm wearing comfy today. 
You guys have a great day. I will see you guys later. Do something nice for someone today, okay? Teach them something new. Um, show them how to show them how to draw. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.